Alright, I finished up my uh, Rise of Skywalker uh, Kylo Ren helmet. Um, so this has uh, NeoPixels. I'm using a uh, Profi board. Um, they're actually in the film. There wasn't a whole lot of animation or anything. So originally I was doing Profi board for that, um, but I went with it. Um, so uh, and it actually gives me some additional control. Um, so what I did was I built it just playing around with styles. For now, I just built a style that lets me just adjust the brightness because uh, trying to find that right brightness um, and uh, get it perfect uh, obviously takes some work um, so because I can change colors uh, I basically just instead of different colors I just change the uh, intensity of the red um, and then on the camera you're seeing a little bit of the pixels I think it's because of the brightness and this camera always seems to wash out in person the, the pixels are, are much less noticeable um, you have to take my word for it unless you come out and meet me sometime um, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it. A few spots, obviously, a little bit brighter, a little bit dimmer. Um, but given that the, the cracks and uh, trying to line up the NeoPixels was a lot of work, uh, I'm happy enough with it. So this is just the static one I have. And then I do have the buttons in the back of the helmet that let me kind of toggle the, uh, the color change, which is what will adjust the brightness. And the side of the helmet will be probably easier to show. So... That can go up, and it's about 10% increments. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. I think it's just washing all the brightness out. And then that's the dimmest it'll go. So this is the one I've been running with. This is the one I think in person looks the best, but I can always just adjust that brightness. And then because it's Profi, I built a few other presets. So. Let's see. So this one, when it's off, will just run a pulse. If I want it, and then it'll bleed through, wash out, and then this is the color uh, that I usually run. And then my second one. This one, hopefully the camera picks it up. This one has a light pulse, but it actually has a bright spot that kind of traces through. And so it's kind of there, it goes there, and it's just because of how I wired it up. So you should see on top of the pulse, there's actually a spot about that big that moves through. Again, it's washing out a little bit, but just a kind of a minor animation that let me put through there. This one has kind of a similar, um, but this is without the pulse. So there's no pulse on this one, but what it has is it has, again, that bright spot that kind of runs through. You'll see it. It goes through a few different veins at the same time. Um, yeah, it's showing up a little bit on camera. But uh, so here it is. It goes that way. Um, just to kind of give it a little something. This one, see this one has a, oh this one is, it just has kind of an effect I can hit I believe. So whenever I want I can trigger a bright effect and then it'll fade out. And it just kind of traces along the lines so if you, and it's got a long fade, it's just meant to be just something if I want to activate it. Lastly, I think this one's just a kind of a straight pulse. Uh, oh no, that's uh, that's back around to my original. Um, so just a few. Uh, I'm gonna play with some more styles, but just being able to kind of mix it up and do different things with it. Um, you know, obviously I installed it, so but uh, and I'll just give it a pan. So uh, Jeff did a really great job with this. Uh, kit it's it's a beautiful piece took a while to get the finishes exactly like I wanted because I'm a little bit or actually I'm a lot OCD but uh, I'm 90% happy with it
there's a few things I probably could have done better just in the cleanup part, but only I will ever see that stuff. So, um, to everyone else, it looks pretty good. At least I think so. So I'm very happy with it. And uh, it'll be, uh, you know, the part of my costume going forward. So, thanks and enjoy.